Freddy. One day, an old friend was returning to the narrow gauge railway. His name was Fearless Freddy. He was fast, fun and fearless. Thomas brought Freddy to the transfer yards. Hello, Sir Handel, wished Freddy. Hello, Freddy, whistled Sir Handel. I haven't seen you for years. Fearless Freddy is back. Puffed Freddy. I didn't know you two were friends, peeped Thomas. Oh, yes, puffed Sir Handel. Freddy was the fastest engine in the hills. Suddenly, Renaeus and Scarlurry raced into the yards. I'm the winner, peeped Scarlurry. No, I am, wished Renaeus. Who are you? pouted Freddy. We're the fastest engines in the hills, chimed Scarlowe. I'll show you who's fastest, boasted Freddy. I'll race you down the mountain. Freddy was sure he was going to win. Freddy huffed and puffed up the mountain. It was harder than he remembered. Flatten my funnel, he wished. I used to be able to chuff up here in no time. Renaeus and Scarlowe were waiting to start the race. Freddy puffed in slowly. All right, fearless Freddy, tooted Renaeus. Ready, steady, go, whistled Scarlowe, and they were off. Freddy was racing very fast, but soon he began to run out of puff. Oh no, those young engines will bump my buffers. He chuffed as he slowed down. Suddenly, Freddy had an idea. He remembered an old track. The old Rocky Way, he thought excitedly. No one will remember that now. Freddy steamed down the track. Renaeus and Scarlowe did not see that he had taken a shortcut. The tracks on the old Rocky Way were old and wobbly. But this way was much quicker. Freddy got to the bottom of the mountain in no time. Renaeus and Scarlowe chuffed in. You're so fast, wished Renaeus. Race you again, huffed Scarlowe. Please, fearless Freddy. Of course, fearless Freddy never says no to a race, boasted Freddy. Renaeus and Scarlowe were soon ready to race again. We'll race you down the other side this time, said Renaeus. The other side of the mountain is very steep, peeped Freddy. You're not scared, are you? teased Scarlowe. Of course not. I'm fearless Freddy, chuffed Freddy. Off we go. Freddy raced ahead of the other engines. But he began to run out of puff again. Fearless Freddy didn't want to lose. I can take the craggy track and then I will win. So Freddy took another shortcut. The track was old and wobbly just like the last one. Freddy was usually fearless, but this time even he was a little frightened. Freddy soon arrived at the bottom of the mountain, safe and sound. But Renaeus and Scarlowe were not safe and sound. The track was very steep and Renaeus had raced right off the rails. Scarlowe raced up to Freddy. Renaeus has come off the track, cried Scarlowe. I don't know where he is. We were trying to catch you, fearless Freddy, but you were too fast. Fred and Freddy knew he hadn't been fast at all. He had tripped the little engines and now Renaeus was in trouble. Sir Handel puffed in with the thin controller. He had heard what had happened to Renaeus. It's all my fault, sniffed Freddy. Freddy told everyone how he had won the races. You tricked us, tooted Scarlowe. And now Renaeus is lost and in trouble. No, he isn't, whistled Freddy loudly. I can find him. I know all the tracks. 
please, sir, follow me. And so Freddy steamed away to rescue Renaeus. Freddy knew about another forgotten track, the old mountainside run. He led the rescue party down to the valley and there was Renaeus. I'm so happy you found me, peeped Renaeus. So am I, puffed Freddy. The Fin Controller, the Fireman, Freddy, Sir Handel and Scarlowy pulled Renaeus back onto the track. All the engines chuffed cheerfully back to the transfer yards. I'm sorry I tricked you, puffed Freddy. You're much faster engines than me, but you know all about the, all the old tracks, peeped Renaeus. Please tell us about them. So Freddy be began to tell the young engines tales about the old tracks. Everyone was happy that Fearless Freddy was back.